In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Pictree to edit YouTube videos. In fact, they've made it an automatic process. I'll show you how that works right now. So I'm inside Pictree. What you can do is you could go from script to video or from article to video. So I'm going to go from script to video. I've prepared the script right here. So this is my video script. I'm going to paste that in here. That's step number one. So if you don't have a script, make sure that you have a script ready for your video because this is going to make it easy to add a voiceover automatically as well as edit the video automatically because they'll automatically add clips for you in the video. And I'll show you how that goes right now. But before that, it's important that if you add a script, you don't make the sentences too long because they add automatic captions. If you have it way too long, the text on your screen is going to be way too long as well. And then you have to manually change it. So step number one, after adding your script, make sure that you don't make your sentences too long. For example, if you do it like this, this should be all right. Now, some of these will be too long. Then I'll show you the result of that as well, as well as how we can fix that still. Okay, so once you put in your script, you're going to click on proceed in the top right corner. Next up is going to ask you for a template. Now you can see they have got tons and tons of templates. Most of them, I will admit, are not the best. For example, this kind of stuff. I feel like it just made to be sort of fancy because they just have X amount of templates. Honestly, there, there are not that many that I will use myself. This one is just subtitles fin, just white subtitles or the yellow one. I usually go with the yellow one since people are used to that on um, reels and this and that. Now that one is pretty decent. I don't really recommend using any of the other ones. I just always use the yellow subtitles in the videos that I create with Pig3 AI. Now what they're now doing, they're creating a storyboard. A storyboard, which you'll see in a bit, is basically the video edit. And you'll be surprised because your video is going to be done. As you can see, boom, you're done. You have just created a video. Now, is this video good or not? Well, that's debatable, right? So we can find out and we can also change it. But first of all, I like to show you, they have just built an entire video based on your script. If I now go to audio, I click voiceover and I select the one I always use, Ayanda, click apply. Technically, my video is now done within one minute. I just put in my script, video done. So the tool and the AI itself is fantastic. It's a fantastic piece of software. It's just that sometimes it's not too great. You can see the first clip here, pretty decent, but the fourth one, I don't like to put that in my video. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to build out my video. I'm going to edit my video scene by scene. So on, on Pictory, they work with scenes, as you can see, scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, scene five, and that continues to go on. What you can do is you can select a scene, for example, the first one, you can then click on visuals, and then you can change the clip in the background. Now these clips that show up here are powered and they're linked to storyblocks.com. Now Storyblocks is a free stock footage website. And as you can see, free copyright, I must say. It's not free, it costs $30 a month. I have this myself as well. So know that with Pick3 AI, if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan, you will get Storyblocks embedded, which usually already costs $30 a month. So on here, you can then find any clip. So if you type in Amsterdam, just like that, you'll then find clips from Amsterdam. If I type in Amsterdam canals, because that's what the first sentence of our video is about, I will then find clips of the Amsterdam canals, like this one. And there you go. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? So for example, if that's our opening scene, I can use this as the clip. I would then go back to story, click on scene two, check the footage that's being used there. I like this already. This is exactly the kind of clip I would put there since it's about the red light district. It's a bit fascinating, controversial. Go to number three and the football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. I don't like the clip here. As you can see, it's like a drone view um, from the stadium. However, you can see it's very far, so you cannot really properly look at the stadium. Plus, I'm not even sure if this is the actual stadium. It doesn't look like it, so this is not the right clip. So what you then do, go to visuals, go back, you type in the football club, Ajax, or what I did, and that's exactly what you can do as well. You can go to my uploads, and then you can upload photos as well as videos from your computer. As you can see, I've uploaded a few, one of which is the Ajax team. So I just added this, but you can see it's not full screen. Go to settings, click visual zoom and pan, and there we go. Now it's full screen and it's gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go, scene three, done. And that's how you can continue to build out your video. So you click on scene four, you use the clip. Now what I recommend you do, and this is a big mistake a lot of people make, this is built with AI, right? So AI automatically chooses a clip, 
based on the captions. Now you can see this is about revealing secrets. So they're gonna put like this kind of clip. Now what you can do, and that's what a lot of people do here, it's about secrets. So what they'll do, they'll type in secrets, just like that. And then they're gonna use a cringy clip like this. For example, this one, company secrets or this one. Yes, it is about secrets, but if you start putting every clip based on the exact words in that exact phrase, it's gonna be very cringy, what I found. So what I would do myself is just put a normal clip of Amsterdam, because the video at the end of the day is about things to do in Amsterdam, which as you can see right here, other people are making those videos and it's kind of the same. They open up with a drone shot from Amsterdam. Some people have personal creation, but you can see every single video that ranks high, that has hundreds of thousands of views here, even a million views, is using those same clips. So with Pictory, you can indeed make videos that are spot on compared to videos that are already getting tons and tons of views, which is good to see. So instead of doing these cringy clips, simply add an actual clip from Amsterdam. Now I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna put Amsterdam. I want a drone shot, just like this, or this one looks a bit nicer with this tower here. And there you go. So now I have this clip. This should be a much better clip if you ask me. Yeah, perfect, that's great. Then I'll go to scene number five. I'll go back to the storyboard. Then you know that in Amsterdam, there's a biking parking garage that can hold up to X amount of bicycles. Now what you can see now, they linked uh, a clip about bicycles. It's not great, it's not bad either, but I wouldn't use it. What I would do instead is go to uploads and I would find the actual garage that I'm talking about in the video, which is what I did, add the photo. There you go. And there we go, that looks much better. Now what happens if the sentence is way too long? So usually I'll stick to about two sentences, two lines of text per scene. So what I can do now, I can either change the font and the size, for example, 28, and then see if it goes back, maybe 24. Okay, still doesn't go back. So then I need to put it on like 20, and there you go. But now the text is really small. Let's say that I don't wanna compromise the size of my text. What I can do, and that's what you can do as well, is split a scene. Here's how that works. So you can see that the text appears right there. Did you know that in Amsterdam, I can then put, for example, two dots, to tease the people and then hit split scene. What I now did, I changed it up. As you can see, it's now two lines and it's still 32 in size. The only problem now is that these two scenes are linked, meaning the text as well as the image in the background is now one clip, it's one part. So if I wanna change the picture of this one, it's automatically gonna change the picture of this one as well. If you wanna unlink that, you click right here, unlink scene meaning you can now do with it whatever you want and they're not gonna be the same. You can also link scenes yourself by clicking link scene. Now that means that they'll use the same clip in the background. Let's say you've got like a 10 second clip, but your text only um, lasts for five seconds. You can link scenes and they'll put the entire 10 second clip into the next part of text, if that makes sense. So what you can see now is that we're starting to build out our video. It's called the feet flat. It's the largest biking facility in the world. So you can see that should kind of be this. The problem that I'll now get into is that I've used the same background for free scenes, which can be very boring. So what I'll do here, it's about 12,000 bicycles. I'll simply start adding clips from bicycles, just like that, a ton of bicycles, or I'll do people cycling themselves. It's a bit more action going on. But what you can see now, if I click here, if I click on this one, it's the same clip. It's because I did not unlink the scene. So I need to click here, there you go. I need to click unlink here. I need to go to this clip and then I need to select it. So what I've now done is the reversed way, which is exactly what you should not do because it's gonna save you time. Because now I need to do this and add the clip here again, as well as go back to the other scene this one and then add that one again just like that settings and there we go all right i think by now you really get the point right this is a video editor that you can create videos automatically by just selecting clips i can continue to build up my video and what i'll do at the end of this video that you're watching right now i'll put a clip from a video that i made with pictory about amsterdam so that you can watch the end result now let's say that you're done building out the entire video scene by scene what do you do Two things, you can add a voiceover if you want to. So these are the built-in voiceovers on Pictory. I must say, not all of them are great and considering the price point, which is either $47 a month or 27, and you can get a 20% discount by the way, more on that later. 
um, but it's not bad. You can also upload your own voiceover, so they have that feature, which is great. You can see I've been doing that a few times. Um, and as you can see here, <coughs> and as you can see here, you also have a few available. The one that I use myself on Pick3 is Ayanda. I'll show you what she sounds like right now. Welcome to Pick3. It is being shown that video increases conversion rates. It's not 100% like the best voiceover available, but for certain types of videos, especially for this one, it works pretty well. Because what I'll do, I'll add a background song to it as well. And then at the end of the video, you'll see the result, but it sounds pretty decent. Then what's important as well is that if you have the upper plan, so if you have a pay plan, you can render in 1080p. Very important. Click 16 by 9 landscape and then click download video and there you go. Now I've actually made a full tutorial, a 30 minute video about Pic3 and every single feature that they have, as well as I've got a discount code for you if you're looking to sign up, as well as a free trial. I've got a lot of resources. I've been using this, I've been reviewing it, I've been doing a lot of stuff on Pic3 lately. I'll leave links to all of the videos and all of the resources I mentioned in the description down below so that you can check that out if you want to. For now, this is how you use it and here's the final result that I generated with Pic3 AI. Amsterdam, the capital city of the Netherlands, is located in the Western Netherlands within the province of North Holland. Along with The Hague, Amsterdam plays a significant role in the governance of the country, with The Hague being the location of much of the Dutch government. While Amsterdam is the economic and cultural heart of the country, famous for its artistic heritage, Amsterdam boasts an elaborate canal system and narrow houses, with gabled facades that serve as legacies of the city's 17th century golden age. The city is widely regarded as one of the greatest small cities in the world, and its museum district is home to world-famous attractions such as the Van Gogh Museum, the Rijksmuseum, and modern art at the Stede Lake. Due to its extensive canal system, Amsterdam has minimal road traffic, and visitors will find that their destinations are never too far away. Cycling is an integral part of the city's culture, and there are numerous bike paths that you can explore. With its picturesque canal network, rich history, and vibrant cultural scene, Amsterdam is one of the world's most unique and fascinating city destinations.